Alfred Wegener by Frederick Harmon. Alfred Lothar Wegener was born on November 1st in 1880 in Berlin, Germany. He earned a PhD in astronomy but had an interest in meteorology. Alfred Wegener's father, Richard Wegener, ran an orphanage. Alfred was the youngest of five children. Imagine that. Alfred got married to a woman named Elsa Coppen, who was the daughter of another meteorologist. They had a daughter named Hild. Alfred became the chair of meteorology and geophysics at the University of Graz in Austria in 1924. Alfred Wegener noticed that the Earth's continents fit together kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, like Africa and South America. He also noticed that there are matching mountain ranges, fossils, and coal beds on the different continents. This was the start of his hypothesis. Alfred believed that the Earth's continents were once a huge supercontinent called Pangaea, meaning all land in Greek. Scientists now think that there might have been other supercontinents before Pangaea, like Rhodonia and Panadia. Scientists didn't always believe his hypothesis, though. Scientists didn't really believe Alfred's hypothesis because he thought that the continents plowed through the ocean. A lot of people didn't support him because he was a meteorologist and he wasn't supposed to be studying the continents. But scientists didn't believe his hypothesis because they couldn't find a force strong enough to move the continents into new positions. Alfred Wegener went to Greenland four times in his life. His first expedition was in 1906. He was always very interested in going there for his job to study the climate. Alfred Wegener died on November 2, 1930, a day after his 50th birthday. He died in Clarentania, Greenland. He died from heart failure due to overexertion. He was buried by a man named Willemsen with great care and respect, and he was marked by skis. Later, people found his body and marked it with a huge iron cross that sadly got buried by the snow over time. After Wegener's death, about 30 years later, something amazing happened. Harry Hess, a naval officer, found proof for Wegener's theory. During World War II, Hess was mapping the ocean floor for the Navy. He discovered mountains on the bottom of the ocean. These mountains are called mid-ocean ridges, and they are created by divergent plate boundaries. This is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is probably the biggest ridge in the ocean. It is located in the Atlantic Ocean, obviously, and separates the Eurasian Plate and the North American Plate. Harry Hess came up with a theory about how magnetic patterns cause the younger rock to be at the center of the ridge. As it gets older, the rock shifts farther away from the center. Harry Hess came up with the plate tectonics theory and taught us a lot about what we know about the Earth, but Alfred Wegener sparked that idea with his continental drift theory.